Howdy, Cowboys Nation. If you're as passionate about staying ahead of the game and being the first to catch all the breaking news about our beloved Dallas Cowboys, then subscribing to our channel is an absolute must. Your support means the world to us, and it's what fuels our dedication to delivering the freshest updates directly from the heart of the action in Dallas itself. So, before we dive into the latest news, make sure you've subscribed and turned on notifications. Your subscription is vital in helping us reach our goal of 11,000 subscribers. Alright, let's get into it. Today, we're talking about a player who might just be the dark horse candidate to lead the Cowboys running game, Royce Freeman. Are we overlooking Royce Freeman at all? When the Denver Broncos selected Royce Freeman in the third round of the 2018 NFL Draft, expectations were high. He left Oregon as the Ducks' all-time leading rusher, and many thought he would immediately be one of the more productive runners in the NFL. If you played fantasy football back then, you probably remember how highly he was valued without ever playing a down. But things did not go according to plan. His rookie season was rather underwhelming, and he found himself in a committee with another rookie, undrafted free agent Philip Lindsay. Freeman suffered an ankle injury midway through the season, and when he returned, Lindsay had taken his job. He spent three underwhelming seasons with the Broncos, splitting time with Lindsay, then Melvin Gordon, before being released in 2021 after the team drafted a new rookie running back, Javante Williams. Freeman quickly found work as he was claimed off waivers by the Carolina Panthers the very next day. He saw very little action behind running back Christian McCaffrey before being released midseason. Again, he was claimed, this time by the Houston Texans, where he did very little. The Texans had a slew of running backs that year, consisting of David Johnson, Mark Ingram, and that Philip Lindsay fella again. Freeman returned to Houston the following year, but just hung out on the practice squad until the last four games of the season. Last year, Freeman joined a Los Angeles Rams team that had Cam Akers, Daryl Henderson, and Corinne Williams. But when Akers was traded away, Henderson was cut, and Williams suffered an injury, suddenly the door of opportunity swung wide open, and Freeman played in 14 games and ran the ball 77 times, the most touches he's had since 2019. Freeman joins the Cowboys, where there is no clear lead running back. He'll compete with Ezekiel Elliott, who has returned after spending a year in New England, and Rico Dowdle, an undrafted free agent who is coming off the first healthy season of his career. Here's how the three of them performed last year. Ezekiel Elliott, 184 carries, 643 yards, 3.5 yards per carry, success rate equals 45.1%. Rico Dowdle, 89 carries, 361 yards, 4.1 yards per carry, success rate equals 47.2%. Royce Freeman, 77 carries, 319 yards, 4.1 yards per carry, success rate equals 51.9%. When you look at this group of Motley runners, there is nothing about it that makes fans excited. The addition of Freeman doesn't do much to move the needle. It's perfectly understandable to not expect anything to change for him after six years of disappointment. At the same time, is there any chance this might work? The Cowboys' new free agent running back is an interesting option. Let's be clear, there is nothing special about his skill set. He's not a shifty runner, he doesn't have great breakaway speed, and he's never been a power back despite possessing a muscular frame. But here's what he can do. Freeman is very good at locating the running lanes and accelerates fast. He's not going to escape with jump cuts and blaze into the open fields, but he has the vision and footwork to sneak past the first level. His ability to see the blocks develop and then throttle up allows him to make the most out of what's given. His 51.9% success rate ranked 13th in the league last year for all running backs with at least 50 carries. For the last few years, Freeman has been stuck on teams loaded with running back depth that features players with more talent. No offense to Zeke, but the Cowboys don't have a strong talent at the top, and no offense to Dowdle, Malik Davis, or Deuce Vaughn, but the depth leaves something to be desired. Freeman has a real chance on this team because there isn't much standing in his way. 
Despite being the same age when they signed with Dallas, Elliott has more than four times the career touches that Freeman has. Not only is Freeman fresher than Zeke, but he's more durable than Dowdle. Dowdle has missed 32 games to injury over his first four years compared to just two, his rookie season, for Freeman over six seasons. Freeman can also contribute on special teams. Zeke may be first in line for the lead back role and Dowdle might be lurking in the back, but both of those guys have things working against them and it could open the door for a running back to have one final shot to deliver. Now, I want to hear from you, Cowboys Nation. Should Royce Freeman be considered as our lead running back? Drop a Y for yes or an N for no in the comments section below. Do you think Freeman has what it takes to lead the Cowboys, or should we stick with Zeke and Dowdle? And don't just vote, let us know why you feel that way. Your opinions matter, and we love hearing from you. Cowboys EVP Stephen Jones said recently that veteran RB Royce Freeman has really impressed. They were surprised he was available when they signed him to a one-year deal in April. Jones stated, we were just talking about it last night at the scout dinner. What in the hell was he doing sitting around out there? An interesting guy to just have been sitting there. He's a great 2-3 to three combination in terms of what he can do as a backup. He's a big, thick guy. And he's a hell of a special teams player as well. He'll be a good addition and great compliment to Ezekiel Elliott. And then we'll let these young guys between Rico Dowdle and Malik Davis and those guys battle it out. Freeman's situation is unique. Despite being around the league for a few years, he hasn't accumulated much wear and tear. This freshness could be a significant advantage, especially in a running back rotation where durability and availability are crucial. Let's dive deeper into what makes Royce Freeman a dark horse candidate. His ability to read blocks and hit the holes quickly is something that could fit well with the Cowboys' offensive line. While he might not have the flashy attributes, sometimes consistency and reliability are what a team needs most. And with the injuries that have plagued Dowdle and the heavy usage that Elliott has experienced, Freeman's relative freshness and durability might be the key to a balanced and effective running game. What do you think, Cowboys fans? Could Royce Freeman be the unexpected star of our running game this season? Vote in the poll and share your thoughts. And remember, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell. Your subscription is very important to us and helps us bring you more great content. We appreciate every one of you in our Cowboys community. Before we wrap up, let's consider the potential benefits of having Royce Freeman as a key player in our running game. He brings a fresh perspective and untapped potential. With the right development and support, he could become a game changer for the Cowboys. On the flip side, Zeke's experience and leadership are invaluable. It's a tough decision with many factors to weigh. So, what's your take, Cowboys fans? Should we give Freeman a shot to lead our running game, or do we stick with the veterans and known quantities? Cast your vote in our community poll and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and fellow Cowboys fans. Let's keep the conversation going and see what the majority thinks. Thanks for tuning in to Cowboys News TV. We'll be keeping an eye on this story and updating you with any new developments. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any breaking news. Your support helps us grow and reach our goal of 11,000 subscribers. We appreciate every one of you in our Cowboys community. Until next time, go Cowboys!